A personalized wreath that you make for fall is so much better than anything store-bought. This fall wreath goes together really quick. It is a simple grapevine wreath, glue on preserved leaves, then glue on preserved eucalyptus, make a perfect ring, and then spray paint some of your favorite gourds. They can be dried or fake, either way you won't know the difference. Once it's all put together, it's gonna be the perfect fall welcoming for any of your guests. And you're gonna love looking at it too. All coming up on today's Wise Guide. There's something about fall that I love putting a wreath up for. Other seasons, I don't often use them, but when it comes to fall, it feels so welcoming and I love coming home and seeing that wonderful wreath on a door. Usually, I don't have a lot of time to make them, so I try to think of something really simple. And I hate to buy a store-bought one because then so many other people have it and often they're just not that great. You have to admit, those store-bought wreaths, questionable. This one is really simple. It has a little bit of a modern twist, but also is really traditional. I'm using some gourds that I had tons of last year and they dried over the winter, but if not, you can just use fake gourds and spray paint them too. Either way, anything you use is gonna be available at a local craft store and really simple to find, and it's gonna make you a perfect wreath that no one else is gonna have. To start, you just wanna spray paint your gourds. If you're not gonna use dried ones like I have, you can just buy whatever ones you like because you're gonna spray paint them so you won't see them. I'm using these small spinner ones. They dried over the winter. They're beautiful in a bowl as they are, but I want a little bit more of a modern twist on them and something that's more classic and makes them look cohesive. Place the gourds on something you don't care about. I'm just using some brown paper bags and then spray paint them. I'm just spraying them with a metallic copper spray paint. You can choose whatever color you like, but this is very autumnal. It'll go from October through November perfectly. You're gonna have to turn them, spray paint them again, check for any bad spots, but once they're all done and they are dry to the touch, you can move on. When your gourds are ready, you can start with your wreath. Choose the grapevine wreath you like. I'm choosing a little bit more rustic one that's splayed out, but I really like the look of it. Also, before you start, make sure it fits your door because you don't want to get it done and then have nowhere to put it. Take some preserved leaves off of their stems. Now, I know that you think you could use real leaves, but they're gonna dry and get more brittle and not retain their color. These preserved ones are preserved with glycerin, so they keep the color that they have. The first preserved leaves I'm using are the ones that are most common to find. They're an oak leaf that's preserved, and then they have a lot of orange and browns on them. Just take them off the stem and then glue them on in a ring. You can do it as tight and overlapping as you like. Really, it's up to you. I love the contrasting color and the great base they start with. Once you have all the first layer of leaves done, you can move on to a second layer. I like to use a contrasting color that looks really good against the copper that I sprayed the gourds with. For this, I'm using a dark maroon or red eucalyptus. Again, it's preserved, it's gonna keep its color and its form. Just remove the eucalyptus from the stem, just like you did the leaves. Once it's all removed, you can go on and glue it. Just make another ring on top of your leaves. They're smaller, so you still see all the different textures from the leaves below, and it creates a second ring. Once all your eucalyptus is on, you can finish with your gourds. This is really simple, and it looks great. Glue the gourds on just like you did the leaves. Put a big dollop of glue on the back of a gourd and then set it in place. You may need to hold it for a bit because it's kind of heavy until it dries. Just make your way around the whole wreath until you have a complete circle. At the end, you might kind of have to squeeze one in or push some together, but it usually comes out just fine. Once all your gourds are in place and dried, your wreath is ready to hang. Whether it's indoors, outdoors, under a protected roof, it is gonna look great. It is such a great fall welcome treat and it's not kitschy or ugly, and it's quite chic, actually. I love to have this to welcome all my guests, and especially me when I come home. It's a beautiful thing to walk into, and I know you're gonna enjoy it too. Make yours however unique you want to, and make sure to share it with me so I can see it. If you agree and think this wreath is super simple and beautiful for fall, make sure to like, share, subscribe. If you wanna see everything I use, go to the description box. And until next time, say happy fall, because it's an awesome time of year.